Hello and welcome to another episode of PPG Grappa. Today we are going to change out this blade with a new blade. Or prop, whatever you want to call it. Uh, yeah, so I got these new prop blades. They're the Helix. So they just slide in together. I'm trying to do this with one hand, so. Just in case y'all never seen such a thing. And that's how they go together like that. And just to make sure that I put them on there, right? I sure did. Just double check in with my, with my current blade. Current prop. So that's about how long they are. They go all the way through about there. Squeaks are annoying, but that right there is a spacer, that orange. And then you got this plate on top to keep all the pressure um, even on these carbon fibers. All right, let's see if I can remove this last one. Start dropping everything. I'll show you what this is all about. All right, so there's the plate. Spacer and the prop. There we go. Now we get the very new pretty helix, and we're going to put the spacer back in here. So we'll bump sticks up. Put that through like that. Then we're gonna line up the holes like so. Then you're gonna make sure that that is on correctly. All right, so one is through like that. This is what it looks like with the prop off. I know, right? This little tiny motor can push me up to 18,000 feet legally up in the air. Unbelievable. So I also have some blue medium Loctite I'm gonna put on the ends. So let's go ahead and put the rest through. All right, so they are all through. And I'm gonna take some of this Loctite. All right, I just put a small dab on the end. That is it. You do not need more than that at all. And then I'm going to make sure that I have this on correctly. And now I'm going to set this in and hand tighten them in. Okay, so I finger tighten them in like so. I'm just going to finger tight the top one so it stays nice and snug. And like a car hub, we're gonna go around every other one. Our torque specifications are... Okay, for props, here we go. For a carbon fiber prop, 10 to 12 Newton meters. And if you got a wooden prop, six to seven Newton meters. So these torque wrenches are relatively inexpensive. You should be able to find one for about 10 bucks. 20 bucks if you want to spend a lot of money, but we want not the foot pounds, but we want to go to the other side, which is your Newton meters. Okay, just in case you're new to torque and torque wrenches, every, it'll start off at zero and you have these lines right here. And then you look on each side and you see the ratings. Now we want about 10 Newton meters or 10 and a half. So we're gonna go to that line right there when the zero reaches that. So we're just gonna keep on turning that. So we turn that all the way up and that's right in the middle. So I am going to just put this between my armpit and I'm going to just use a regular wrench 
and snug. My faults, already been hand snugged, so very lightly. I'm gonna tighten these down. Okay, that's tight there. Snug, 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 snug. You gotta see what I'm doing here. Just making sure that everything's about the same tightness. All right, now we're gonna take the torque wrench. Now with the torque wrench, we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to spin it until we hear it go pop. Looks like we can go around, tighten these up a little bit more. Don't want to over tighten them, and you don't want them to break. And it happened one time where one old one sheared off on my pre-maintenance. That was not fun. all the tension. It's a precise, you know, piece of equipment, so always make sure you put it back. You want to be careful with those. And don't get the big torque wrenches like this because I don't think this one goes down that low. This is for my, my work on my cars. That's foot pounds. Newton meters. Yeah, it starts off at 13 and a half ish. The only takeaway that I am going to leave you with is be very, very patient to go around and uh, snug them all um, slowly. This whole process took a little while. Not a whole bunch, but um, long enough that there could be some impatient people that will crank down on one side too much and break a bolt. Um, yeah, yeah, I did that. So be very patient. Love my new Helix. So I am going to start it and see what it see what it, see what it feels like. Put this old one over here. I mean, old as in like it's not. This is the only paramotor I would ever start on the ground for a couple reasons. Number one, it has the comfort bars. My hands can't go through and hit my prop. Um, if it does go full throttle, it'll go down to the comfort bars. And I don't really have to worry about that because of my locking throttle that I have. Uh, so many people out there have throttles that don't lock, which doesn't make any sense to me. So we are going to look, we're gonna press that, and we're gonna make sure that everything moves freely, it goes all the way back, and now it's locked. It cannot go full throttle. Test it to see if I can feel more thrust, um, and see if it uh, runs to max RPMs. feels a lot more thrusty. That's well, that video that I just did uh, definitely took a lot longer than I was expecting. Anyway, tonight, tonight, Tuesday night, uh, we're going to meet over at the Saab farm and we're going to fly some paramotors. Tonight, I'm going to check that out, see how it feels. And I'm going to do a lot of touch and goes. We're going to be flying all the way into the evening. So I'll actually be able to fly with my lights on. Um, all my lights, I got my flasher lights over here, my landing lights, my uh, my big light there. Ooh, did I, 
Yeah, 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 I charged, I charged my strobe light on top of here. So I got a strobe light on top of my helmet. I got two strobes down here and I got my big hoop lights. That's gonna be so cool. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Sorry it took so long. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, give me a thumbs up and let me know that you enjoyed it. Um, and uh, we'll catch you next video. We're flying, flying high. And I'm gonna be putting that motor on the uh, flat top here. I could be selling this laptop, get that out of here, you know. Don't have enough room to have two pair motors in the garage.